I agree with some of the things he said. The motor, yes. Uh, he can make big plays, yes. I see all these things that are similar. He's a game changer. He didn't change the game. Lawrence oh, Taylor, oh, oh, Lawrence oh. Taylor, he changed the game. Oh, and oh. You, we both know there are certain blocking protections now because of Lawrence Taylor. They fan protect now because of Lawrence Taylor. They chip off of the edge now because of Lawrence Taylor. We don't see that yet out of J.J. Watt. As great as he is as a player, and I think he will, you know, be even better than he is right now, I don't see him ever changing the game like Lawrence Taylor did. Ooh, uh, let's quote uh, the great poet Lupe Fiasco. Uh, I can see Max Kellerman shaking somewhere right now. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, <laughs> did you improve on the, the design? Did you do something new? Interesting what J.J. Watt has done is he's improved on the design in terms of disruption, yeah. in terms of that motor, in terms of the intelligence it takes. If you combine their two careers so far and said of the four best seasons, who has what? J.J. Watt has three of the four. Like, only huh. Lawrence Taylor has one of 20 and a half sacks. The rest are J.J. Watt, who had 20 and a half sacks two times, and then came back with a 17 and a halfer. And you talk about scoring on defense. I, I, look, I, Bill Belichick does not like to give out compliments. That is true. But this was boiling over inside of him. He had to say it as his former linebackers coach. He coached LT. He saw LT and he said, this dude's the same thing. I get but people always want to they always want to compare two guys that's not at the same position. They put okay. up by numbers. You can't compare guys with two different positions. You just can't. J.J. Watt is 6'6", 6'7", 300 pounds. Oh, I agree with you. He's point. a defensive tackle. Yes, he can play multiple positions on the field, but you can't compare these two guys just because of numbers, and I think that a lot of people want to do that so much nowadays. I think when it's a lot of people, I totally agree with you, but when Phil Jackson says someone reminds me of Michael Jordan, I listen. So right. when Bill Belichick yeah, tells me I mean, someone reminds me of LT, I'm going to listen. Only because two of those players, but... Because yeah. he happens to be not only the person that coached him, but someone considered to be the greatest coach in that particular game. So when they make that comparison, any Anyone else? I totally agree with you. But when Bill Belichick says, I say, hey, be real, that's Sean, a lot we, of words. Too, we both had our hands in that dirt. I mean, uh, what kind what, of dirt? I, we had our hands in that dirt trying yeah. to do exactly what this dude does, and he does it at a higher level than both of us. And let's just be respectful. I played with the greatest DN of all time. Respect to Reggie White. Rest in peace. Bruce Smith yeah. was getting around that corner like no one ever. But the disruption we're seeing and the production we're seeing is going to rival yep. those greats. It yeah, is. I, 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 well, never, Maybe you're just not I'm ready, here. and that's okay. Yeah, I hear you. It's just hard for you to let go of your LT. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I got it. That's the whole reason in why time. I want to. In time. In time. I let yeah. it go.